The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of St. James. Anyone who is wise or understanding among you should from a good life give evidence of deeds done in the gentleness of wisdom. But if at heart you have the bitterness of jealousy or selfish ambition, do not be boastful or hide the truth with lies. This is not the wisdom that comes from above, but earthly, human, and de devilish. Wherever there are jealousy and ambition, there are also disharmony and wickedness of every kind. Whereas the wisdom that comes down from above is essentially something pure. It is also peaceable, kindly, and considerate. It is full of mercy and shows itself by doing good. Nor is there any trace of partiality or hypocrisy in it. The peace sown by peacemakers brings a harvest of justice. And our response is taken from Psalm 19. The precepts of Yahweh are honest, joy for the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, light for the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is pure, lasting forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true, upright, every one. Every one more desirable than gold, even than the finest gold. His words are sweeter than honey that drips from the comb. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As they were rejoining the disciples, they saw a large crowd round them and some scribes arguing with them. At once, when they saw him, the whole crowd were struck with amazement and ran to greet him. And he asked them, What are you arguing about with them? A man answered him from the crowd, Master, I've brought my son to you. There is a spirit of dumbness in him. And when it takes hold of him, it throws him to the ground. And he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and goes rigid. And I asked your disciples to drive it out. And they were unable to. In reply, Jesus said to them, Faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him. And at once, the spirit of dumbness threw the boy into convulsions. And he fell to the ground and lay writhing there, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? From childhood, he said. And it has often thrown him into fire and into water in order to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. If you can, retorted Jesus, everything is possible for one who has faith. At once, the father of the boy cried out, I have faith. Help my lack of faith. And when Jesus saw that a crowd was gathering, he rebuked the unclean spirit. Deaf and dumb spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Then it threw the boy into violent convulsions and came out shouting. And the boy lay there so like a corpse that most of them said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and helped him up and he was able to stand. When he had gone indoors, his disciples asked him when they were by themselves, why were we unable to drive it out? He answered, this is the kind that can be driven out only by prayer. The Gospel of the Lord.